this age. I was 21 when I came from the Olympics and they asked me, when would you probably retire? And I told them 28. <laughs> but at 28, I became the heavyweight champion of the world. And I realized that I might become the heavyweight champion of the world then. So, okay, I worked 20 years to become this. Now I'm going to give it back. No, I, I, when I retire, I wanted to be you know, the heavyweight champion of the world. Push press. There's three. Three explosive. We're gonna stay with that. We're gonna do three sets of this. Klockan är kvart i sex på morgonen i den lilla orten Riverdale, tre mil söder om Atlanta. Det är en helt vanlig morgon för den femfaldiga tungviksmästaren Evander Holyfield. Ett intensivt träningspass har precis inlätts för The Real Deal som fyller 49 år om tre veckor. En ålder som inte hindrar honom att ställa in siktet på en eventuell fight om VBA-titeln mot en 17 år yngre Alexander Povetkin i slutet av året. That's it, that's it, that's it. Got one more set. Life is about knowledge. You know, knowledge is power. You know, but I didn't have the knowledge when I was young. You know, because you at some point in time you're the youngest one. Now you, I'm the I'm the oldest one in the game of boxing, and and so you know. You know, with age, you know, you, you get the experience, which is the knowledge that now it's about knowledge. You know, so the big the big thing is now with me is faith. I have to have faith in my ability to to make the adjustment that I need to, to make to you know be a little bit more crafty than than, the, than my opponent and this is how I win. This is pretty just what's go with the program you yeah. you know you you know you know me coming up being poor yeah. and my mother was telling me that when you're poor you, you have to have something to show people because people don't believe people who are poor. You say you don't feel as good as you were like back in the days, uh, but do you feel equal to the top level boxers today? I don't know how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they feel. I understand that they go out and they do the very best that they can. I have to go out and do the best that I can and I don't so much be worried how they feel in all this. I realized that that day I got to be the very best. I believe I can do it and you know, that day, I may not, but if I don't quit, that day gonna come that I do it then, and that's what it's all about. I'm just to think about it. They start calling the athlete old at 30 years old. Now, now, now here I am, Mark and 49. Somebody goes, oh, okay, I guess if you really take care of yourself and do, do some of the things properly, you know, you can have a longer career. And pretty much that's what my mother told me. Say, look, hey, don't burn that counter for both ends. Like that, so you know, you know, I would love to say, well, I wanted the people to stress it to this, to this, this, and here, and somebody else, oh, you know, you know, somebody told me about this guy stretched it to, stretched it to 49. I'm gonna stretch it to 50 now. But do you think that you're being realistic? I'm talking. About, I'm saying, why would I train if I wasn't being realistic? You know, it'd be unreal. It wouldn't be realistic if I were telling you these things and I wasn't doing anything. It's just like, you know, just as you look and you say, well, you know, you, you, you're in pretty good shape and all this. But it's obvious that I'm not like this because I'm not doing anything. I have got up in the morning, I have done my work. I expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Let's get it on. 
Here we go, fight two, round one. One of your matches that I remember is, of course, the one against Mike Tyson. Yes. How tired are you getting questions about that? Well, it, it, you know, actually, actually, that match there is a big inspiration because that match there showed a lot of things about not getting sucked in by believing what somebody else told. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Look out, he's right here! That he scarred you for life. Well, how, yeah. how does that feel? Well, you know what? Can we look at <laughs> Well, you know. There's the classic well, yeah, ear. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> classic ear. And, but the most important thing, it, it kind of inspires me. You know, it, it gives me an opportunity to tell people what, what faith is really about and what forgiveness is really about. This man bit me on his own purpose because he wanted to get out twice. But I was able to forgive him, and life is good for both of us now. If you don't forgive, who could you love? Because at some point in time, somebody ever going to shortchange somebody in some situation. Forgiveness is the part of life that really makes this whole world go around. When will you retire, you think? When I reach my goal. You won't retire before that? I hope not. I hope not, but you know, I'm saying you know, the thing is, is that you know, health is important. I mean, you know, I'm, 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 you know, but I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not fearful. I, I believe that I will reach my goal, but I will know it's something too much. I realize, and, you know, I just realize now, you know, why not? Why not? I'm definitely in my zone.